Hey, what's up? Um, I'm sure most of you have seen this, but in case you haven't, uh, I figured I'd make a quick video on it. I hacked my webcam so it would pick up infrared. <coughs> um, every webcam basically has the way the, uh, the sensors work. They also pick up infrared, um, and they found that it was just easier to put a filter on top of it to filter out the infrared. So I scraped the filter off of mine. Uh, it unfortunately made my webcam a little bit fuzzy. You can see that, but, you know, that, whatever. So on top of it right now, I have a a separate um, infrared filter. If I take that off, it's going to get real bright in here. So let me take down the exposure. There you go. Um, a couple of differences you're going to see right away. My hat is kind of a white, light blue. This is more of a gray now, whereas before they were black. Well, the hat's black. That's uh, the sweatshirt. It's a dark blue. Um, some other fun stuff. Let me take this down again. Um, if I put this filter on, this basically filters out um, visible light. If here is a spectrum, um, we start at, I think, 400 or something. Um, and we go up to like 700 for what we can see in our visual spectrum. So if this is the filter, um, it starts like up here as far as blocking stuff out and it drops off right at 700 so this is only showing us above what we can normally see. We can't see ultraviolet stuff with this filter. It blocks that out. But I don't think webcams can pick that up so hot. Some can, I think. But anyway, so this is showing uh, just infrared. Um, now there's, you know, a filament light in my room. So it's not that this is white, it's that it's reflecting infrared. Um, I have some pictures on my site that show dollar, uh, 10, 5s, and 20s, the new ones, have infrared signatures on them. Um, I have an infrared light right here. It's really bright. Let me hold it, like, away. But it's, it's just a flashlight, you know. I'll burn out my LCD right Yeah, wow, it <laughs> went too far. Um, but something really cool you can do with this. Hold on just a second. I'm going to basically take the flashlight, turn it on, since I've only got two hands here. Um, point it up. I'm going to take with my one hand the camera, and with this hand, I'm going to cover the flashlight. So, there's the flashlight right there. It's on. Um, put my hand over it, and if you can see, um, you can see through my hand pretty well. Kind of like, you know, flashlights do, but much more definitely. Now, I'm going to turn the light off in my room real quick. And I'm going to take the gain up on or the exposure just a little bit more. Okay. So let's let's check this out again. There we go. Now tell me that's not cool. Come on. You can see the veins in my hand. I think I can actually can I? I used to be able to move that vein. No, it doesn't look like I can do it. But you can see all these nice veins and bones pretty well in my hand. Infrared apparently penetrates. Now it's getting down into my wrist. That's pretty impressive. Wow, that is my wrist. I just changed the batteries on this, and I don't think it's ever gotten this light. That's a, that's a big vein in the middle right there. Um... But as you can see, infrared penetrates a lot better than, um, yeah, that flashlight. That's just, if I turn this off, it's dark. And, you know, the flashlight's lighting my entire room. Um, you can see infrared penetrates the skin a lot better than uh, normal light. Um, some other cool things, monitors don't put out any visible light. LCD, there's an LCD right there. Oops, let me turn that off. This is an LCD. Um, this is a CRT right there. And they're not putting out any visible light. Um, cold cathodes. Uh, fluorescent doesn't put out very much light at all either. LEDs, like normal LEDs, like the power light on. I don't want to get that. This power light right there. 
it's on right now. It's a bright green. You can't see at all. There's a power light on that monitor as well. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, if you got any ideas as to like what you think may look weird or whatever in infrared, like here's another example. This is a a cup that looks completely clear. Um, let me show you what it looks like with the filter. Ooh, this is on. This on. Okay. It's kind of like a dark. You can still see through it, obviously. But it's like a dark purple. Um, so yeah, I just figured I'd, I would share that. Uh, it's kind of a cool thing. All you have to do is uh, open up the webcam. Some actually have a separate little film uh, piece that comes off. With mine, it was painted on, so I just had to real carefully with a razor scrape it off. Um, so it's kind of a fun thing you can do. Uh, if anybody has any ideas as to like what they think would look cool or whatever in infrared, just let me know. All right, peace.